then try and do this video all in one take. So, um, hello, me, Amputee Adele, a uh, 37 year old amputee, three unit amputee, uh, relearning to skateboard. And yeah, uh, today's video, just uh, an update on what's going on with my wrist. Uh, some not great news also about my shoulder. So I'm just going to get into it as quickly as I can. Um, Thank you everybody who's been supporting me in the comments and all that good stuff and we're so close to 500 subscribers now so guys if you haven't already shameless plug you know what to do smash that like button the notification bell and the subscription subscribe button and uh, please if you can help get me to 500 that would be awesome i would appreciate that so much i say uh arigato gozaimasu in advance but yeah so what's going on with the wrist so i went to uh, the fracture clinic today uh, it's been six and a half weeks since the injury and the fingers are still like puffy and swollen um, My thumb is like really hurting. There's like quite a significant swelling and bruising on the inside of the wrist like there And the CT I thought in the CT scan they would look at the like muscles and tendons and apparently not They just went they said oh no, there's no evidence of any bony injury so they first of all started jumping straight away to like, oh, well, maybe it's just the CRPS that you used to have that complex regional vein syndrome. And I was like, hmm, it doesn't feel like that. I'll be quite honest, it doesn't feel like that. So they agreed to send me to a hand specialist. So um, <laughs> I still think I've probably damaged the one of the tendons in the wrist, suspectedly. But he said, oh, how, how, how hard did you really fall on it? I was like, well, pretty reasonably. I said, but it wasn't just that. I said, because I was like, because of my ADHD, and my hyperfocus plus the adrenaline and the endorphins, I said I didn't even notice, so I carried on doing loads of stupid tricks afterwards. I took them out of the video, but I was just embarrassed at how many, I did like do these stupid hand plants and stuff. How ridiculous. And then I wonder, so it's absolutely mangled at the moment, six weeks, and I have absolutely no timeline for when it's even going to be even slightly better. So no ukulele playing, which is very disappointing. Um, patience, which is a virtue I don't have. <laughs> having to be really patient with myself at the moment as part of all skateboarders as part of our journey when we injure ourselves you have to be patient but like it's been really hard i have to say most just you know just not falling on it just every day i don't know just really like trying to not like picture bad things happening trying to look past my you know what's happening now and be like it's okay it's gonna work again it's just gonna take time but I guess that's because of what happened with my leg originally. I guess if that had never happened, then you don't get that quite sort of, oh my God, something terrible will happen every time something normal happens because what happened to my leg was not normal, you know, and that's a rare circumstance. But that doesn't mean to say what I had in my leg can't happen in my arm. And that's, I think, what they were trying to jump at. And I was like, yeah, maybe, but like, you know, apart from the fact that my hands are dirty because I can't wash them, the skin colors the same color, roughly the same temperature. Um, I can touch it. I told him my phone. I said if it was CRPS, I wouldn't be able to wear that, would I? And I would be struggling to wear that. I said, and if I take it off, it hurts more because there's no support to it. Um, so his advice was to rest it, elevate it, keep it elevated. And, and I've got an appointment with a hand specialist next week, and I think I'm seeing physiotherapy as well. So between the, all of them, hopefully they can get my uh, hand moving pronto because man, it's been really, really difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> it's been fun doing videos and stuff and all the rest of it, but I just can't remember what it was like to be able to do anything like with two hands. It's just so frustrating. All the normal household things that you do, just like so many things, opening packets, tying shoelaces, um, eating food. Um, getting into packets of things, just anything, pouring cups into anything. You just so much stuff you need to use two hands. So anyone out there who who's permanent loss of one of their arms, be it through a missing limb or through just not just through indeed through a condition like CRPS, man, it's it's hard hard work. You know, it's really hard work. And um, so I thought it was under there. It's not. <laughs> uh, I don't think it is anyway. But yeah. So um, yeah. What can I say? Hopefully, hopefully soon we'll get some positive news. But like at the moment, it's just so frustrating to be like six and a half weeks. Still no diagnosis, uh, which is really frustrating. So I'm hoping, you know, that, that the hand specialist people, I'll be seeing them next week anyway, next next uh, week today in the morning. So hopefully, cross fingers, we'll have some information from that. But uh, moving on from the shoulder, from, <laughs> from the wrist to the shoulder. So those of you who've been watching for a long time might remember car coming we'll just let the car come past first so it's not to compete with its engine anyway 
Uh, so yeah, so the uh, the uh, shoulder has been a problem for quite a long time. Did it back in when I was doing exclusively crutch skating, and I sort of basically went like that. And that turned out to actually have torn it. So I have, after two years of having, um, I've already had an ultrasound already. They said they couldn't work out find anything, but I wonder if it's because the inflammation was uh, just so great they couldn't see anything. Um, but so they did an ultrasound on Friday. I've had actually, going back, sorry, loads of steroid injections as well. So um, they were kind of at that sort of, hmm, what do we do next stage? And uh, so I had this ultrasound. They weren't able to tell me anything about the treatment or anything useful. But she was able to tell me that I have a full depth partial width, so it goes all the way through, but not all the way across, uh, tear in, uh, she just said the tendon, I'm assuming she means my rotator cuff, because that's the one I was always affected, so uh, I did speak to the, one of the consultants today about my hand, and I said, oh, you know, about the rotator cuff tear, and he said, oh, he said, tendons don't heal, this is a you know, they, they will not heal themselves. And I was like, oh yeah, but I was like, maybe it healed with like a hole in it though. You know what I mean? Like it's a chronic tear, if that makes any sense. But I think he knew what I meant. But anyway, so um, yeah, I'm waiting for an appointment about that. But that essentially is not good news. Uh, torn, um, torn tendons is not a good thing, apparently. Surgery might be required. It's not like big surgery. It would be like lap laparoscopic surgery. So when they go put the... Um, <clears throat> you call it the keyhole keyhole surgery type thing and they go in and i think they reattach the tendon and sew it all back together again and clean it out at the same time so it wouldn't be too big but it would still be a lot for me to go through but his, his argument last time was that i wouldn't be able to manage because of like how would i manage with one hand but i think actually if i see him and i've still got this on then i'll be able to show him and say well i'm managing with one hand come on you know give me a chance we're gonna say you know um but yeah so that's 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 that um, I don't know what's going to happen, whether, you know, if, if he's going to do the surgery or not, because he was also complaining that I would get CRPS in my uh, shoulder, that it would jump from there to there, even though I told him that I couldn't, if it wasn't for my amputation, that I wouldn't, I, don't know. I know what I mean, <laughs> hang on a minute, it's got my leg stuck on the wall, uh, but yeah, so, sorry, my bum was hurting as well, <laughs> this video is going off on a bit of a strange tangent, but yeah, so uh, it was a bit of an odd one, but um going back to where we were essentially i don't know what's going on like my health seems to be a bit of a disaster at the moment <laughs> uh so we've got we've got we're working we're working on the fact that i've now got not, no longer got any healthy uh limbs so we've got torn torn rotator cuff we've got probably messed up tendon in my wrist uh amputation through the knee of the right leg and my left foot i've got a uh, degenerative arthritis uh, someone else was talking about it actually in an interview. I can't remember who it was. And they said they got it really, really bad. Um, they had to, they had like bone spurs and stuff. And they had to be like bit removed and stuff, and it was really hard. I can't think who it was now. It was somebody who was really surprising. But yeah, anyway. Um, so that one's hard. So I have to have special insoles made for that as well. So I am literally like a walking wreck. But um, as long as I can still stand, I want to skateboard, and that's a decision I make for my own heart and what have you and there's people who may agree or disagree with my decisions for doing that but ultimately after 10 years plus of being in my wheelchair and not being able to do any of these things you know I take pink hills anyway I just try and get on with it um I am trying to preserve myself for the long haul obviously but at the same time it's uh yeah it's um it's hard it's hard to sort of work out how much to, to you know put into something how much to hold back because I held back a heck of a lot when I was younger and I really feel very aware of that so when I'm doing skate tricks now I do like to just sort of dive straight in as it were and uh, for better or worse that's, that's what I do but yeah um I am going to end the video very very soon because I don't think there's any need for me to talk anymore this is just I just thought it was the quickest way to do the video for today because uh the video had got planned um I was sort of like a upload that was half of it i was already in the middle of editing and to be honest it it, it was not particularly enthralling or exciting anyway and it was like a sort of a compilation of a, of like i had been doing a vlog about my wrist which wasn't particularly exciting and i just thought you know what i've been to the fracture clinic i've got some information plus i found out already what i knew about my shoulder so i thought why the heck why don't i just like tell you guys just do one straight video no editing just straight wham bam thank you ma'am uh tell you what was going on but yeah so uh that's kind of where we're up to with things at the moment. Bit sketchy, um, but I'm still smiling. 
had an awesome skate session earlier. Uh, the video of that will be up soon, but I was basically attempting rolling uh, nolly shoves and also switch shoves. So, um, yeah, uh, I, I'm not going to le let you into it, but it was a good session, I'll just say that much. And I managed to do some, I managed to film a short of that as well, so you'll be able to see that very, very soon. But I'm going to get out of here in just a minute and go and walk my lovely little dog. She's not all that small. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at with things, guys. So I really want to say thank you, everyone who's been watching, following, subscribing, liking, following my journey, uh, especially recently with this injury. Like uh, six and a half weeks, like I can't even remember when it felt normal. And it feels like ugh, I'm still on like full doses of painkillers like I was taking before. Uh, any movement like in the wrist, like even this little tiny movements, it causes massive, massive pain. So he told me to keep it elevated and rest it. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But uh, it's. It's just so frustrating because I really thought I'd be way past this point. I thought it's like I feel behind, like in the in the in the journey of um, recovery, but I'm not. I guess this is just the way a tendon or ligament injury or whatever it might be. So I just hope I just I wish I wish they could have just found this out a bit sooner. It seems so frustrating. Like and you guys who pay for like healthcare or whatever, you probably think, yeah, that's absolutely crazy. We're in six and a half weeks. But like, you know, to find out, you know, they don't actually technically even know what's wrong anyway because no one actually bothered to look on the CT scan to check for the muscles and the tendons and the ligaments. Even though actually when I was there at the scan, I asked them and they said they would be checking all of those things because the scan checked all those things. But when the report was written up, it just said that all it commented was on the bony. There was no, appeared to be no damage to the bony structures. And I was like, that's not bloody health, is it? Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, arigato gozaimasu. Um, my hand uh, will be with us soon. It's it's getting there slowly. We get a bit more movement back, but that swelling is just really frustrating. I have to keep stopping resting, putting my hand up out. And also this muscle here in the inside of my arm is just like like really, really tight and painful. Uh, it just feels like there's no way that my arm will go that's actually comfortable. Meanwhile, this arm's getting ripped. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's not. My shoulder hurts so much. The, the, the hole in the tendon it's catching on the top of the joint so like every now and again like, I get a really good like snap and crack which I don't want to do because it hurts but I always wondered what that was and now I know but no, thank you so much for uh, watching this video if you've made it to the end thank you arigato gozaimasu uh, uh, from me amputee Adele I need to put that I meant to put my leg in here so you can see an amputee from yeah hang up me Amputee Adele, a 37 year old amputee with clearly with no brain cells. And today was an update on my wrist injury and my shoulder injury, chronic shoulder injury, two and a half years plus in the making now. I know. I told them it hurt, damn it. I told them it hurt. And that why it hurt because I'd torn the tendon. Now I know. So, not good news, but it's good news. But, like, I'm also scared and anxious. Either of these things, if they need surgery, that would mean, like, I feel like going back a step. Both of them occurring at the same time. Kind of scary. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. But I'm going to try and stay positive. Just keep one thing at a time. I've got a fantastic family, a fantastic fiancé and lovely dog and great neighbours and such alike. Family, friends, all the good stuff. Uh, you guys out there supporting me. And so I know that I've got all the support I need at my side and all the strength I need from you guys and everybody around me. And, of course, uh, from myself as well. So... Thank you very much, guys. Um, hopefully, we'll have some good news to report soon. That's what I want to do, guys. I want to give you some good news. Um, but good news is coming soon, I feel. You know, you can only have so much bad news in one go, can't you? Can't you? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. If you fancy it, you don't have to, but it is a free option. If you made it this far, my videos tend to be a bit more exciting than this. We tend to do skateboarding and things with the uh, prosthetic leg or crutches or whatever, but today is just a injury update so i'll see you in the next video uh you've been watching me happy to adele uh worry less skate more worry less injure yourself less wear protection more hashtag helmet gang hashtag wrist guard gang <laughs> peace on love if i've got this you've got this and uh, see you in another video guys ciao for now